In this episode, we complete the trailer brake installation on a 2005 Jeep Grand Cherokee, and I show you how this Jeep automatically collects rainwater and stores it for emergency situations. A2. I don't know how I'm going to get this mess cleaned up here. Whoops. So I found a power spot in the fuse box. I'm going to use one of these guys here. Add a circuit. And I had to get some small screws. Yeah, I'm not sure the size fuse I should be using for this trailer brake controller, but the, it came with a 10, 5, and a 7 and a half. So that's good enough. A couple of those will work. We'll put in the, uh, I'm not exactly, one of these circuits. One of these circuits goes to one. One of these circuits goes to this extra circuit we're adding in here. So we'll use the... 10 and a seven and a half stick them in and yeah, I hope that's good enough I don't know if anyone's used these before but man those are hard to get in I hope I never have to change these they're never gonna come out I'm gonna have to cut this out and put in a new one maybe I should have put a plug on this one too so I can change this whole thing out well, here we are back under the dash this I got an open circuit here I can plug this in. There's an open spot right there. Oh, at least it fits. That's about good enough. All right, I think that's wired now. I tell you, there's just no replacement for a good map gas torch here. Especially when you're trying to melt heat shrink tubing stuff. Yeah, there we go. That might be a little too much. I think I melted it. I did. That is perfect. Pen would be nice. The first one I think is going in right about here, maybe. Perfect. I'm gonna put these kind of in the middle so I can slide this one way or another if I have to. There we go. Perfect. Got that in. So if you're following along, I can't find the screws to use to mount that that came out of the car it was in. I got a bunch of these self-tapping sheet metal screws. They're a little bit too small, but I can stick a couple of these in and maybe wrap a zip cable tie around it. thing here somewhere right there there we go that's it's in so this could be a problem while you're driving I got a bunch of a bunch of these here I don't even know where I got these from I got bags and bags of cable ties from I don't even know where a lot of a lot of times I'll get these out to use them and they break they're sold they're brittle they don't even really work never have enough 
don't have enough cable ties. Good for auto repair, home repair, kid repair. Yeah, this is looking good. Real, real nice. This is factory. Better than factory. Although when people complain about the brakes, I always tell them you'll without brakes you'll get where you're going a lot quicker. Might be a bit of oh, might be a bit of a problem there. Beautiful. I think we got all that secured. I got a mess to clean up here. You know how good that is. It's gonna be a bit of a jigsaw because I don't even remember how they, all these went in or how they came out or where they go. But I think this one goes in here some, somehow. Well, I'm not sure that's going to work. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Wait a minute. I got a Phillips. Yep, good enough. Key still fits. Brake controller right here. I don't know what's supposed to happen, so I know this works. Oh, there we go. It's got lights lighting up. Seems like it's working. Brake pedal still works. Jeep owners, we Jeep engineers. I'm very impressed with the engineering quality of this vehicle. I found when I picked it up that it has making a noise uh, the rear door. Get this. Seems like the rear doors collect rainwater when you are in a place that has water, probably to save it like a camel. So you have water when you're four wheeling in the desert. You've got an extra water supply. I'm not sure what's up with that. I'm gonna have to figure out what seal is broken that's causing the rear door to collect water, or maybe the drains are, are plugged. I know if you wiggle it back and forth, some water comes out sometimes. Um, the driver's side door seal definitely needs to get fixed. The rear hatch struts definitely need to get fixed, but it seems like the HVAC system's working now, and we got a trailer brake controller. So a couple systems, couple uh, problems down, and about a million more to go. Well, not to mention all the check engine lights. There's check engine lights, gas cap, the transmission filters plugged or something. Uh, the seat belt's not working now. There's an airbag light for this driver's side seat belt that just came on. Oh, that went off. It'll come on again in a minute whenever you drive it. That just happened. Just happened. So, some of the multiple problems that Jeep Grand Cherokee has. Start tackling one at a time. High beam switch. Doesn't really work, but it's okay because you've got, use the menu here. Automatic headlamps. It'll do high beams automatically. The problem with the automatic high beams is the high beams come on and off at random times For no apparent reason So I'm not real impressed with that system it Also has auto darkening mirrors inside and outside the outside one 
works good at night, but it's really hard to see out of during the day. I'm not sure if that's normal or not, you know, along with about a million pounds of trash and dirt that needs to get cleaned out. Little by little, we'll get it fixed. The trailer brake controller installed, it was time to fire up the Jeep, hook it up to a trailer, it's like 30 something foot, I don't know, and cruise it around town, take the big hill right around the corner from my house, the trailer brakes work, it works on manual, it works on automatic, it, it really, it'll put you through the windshield, in fact, if the brakes are all the way on, so we had to make some adjustments on that, but it worked great. Thank you for tuning in and watching this episode. Uh, please consider subscribing if you'd like to see more content like this, and we'll see you next time.